This is a poison gas, CO-Cl2. This is actually a poison gas used to reduce the for during the World War II. And, but it's also being used to make actually plastic or polycarbonate, which is a bulletproof glass. Okay? So this is actually a compound that is we use to make polycarbonate plastics. And they say, can you draw the three <coughs> fossil resonance structures? Uh, I don't like the question. Actually, there's a one really uh, resonance structure that is dominant, the most stable, most significant. There are two extra one you can put that in. And we, well, the, the problem says three resonance structures, so we have to deal with this way. And then we'll just do the something that, uh, like we did before, carbon, oxygen, chlorine. So four, six, seven times two, 24. And then which one do I put in the middle? I don't want to put oxygen in the middle. Chlorine maybe, but chlorine too means like yeah, they are in the outside too. So only thing that left is a carbon. So you want to put the carbon in the center. Then I'm going to use a simple black color. Let me just put the oxygen, chlorine, chlorine. Okay, and I haven't used an electron so far, but now I'm going to do it. One, two, three. So six electrons, 18. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's an 18 electron I use, nothing left. As, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm kind of uh, satisfying the octet rule in and out, uh, out, 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 out and in, and then this out three are happy. But remember, this one has a negative four more charges, okay? And the carbon is, look at that. They only have a six electron, so they are not so happy at all, and you have to, satisfy the octet rule. The only one that you can still, I mean, there are electrons can be stolen from here to here, or here to here. So those are the possibilities, okay, to, to be fair. And I'm not done yet forming this because in your mind, this is always easier to remember. This is a neutral, right? This is a neutral. So therefore, what's the former charge of carbon in the middle? Plus one. That's what I've been telling you. Right? So that's uh, really the your starting point, but that's not the really that that's not really. I mean, this is not even among three choices of resonance structure because it violates octet rule. So you, you don't have to even count on this. So let's add, make make sure that we satisfy this. And uh, what is your choice? Do you want to get this one to be shared as a double bond or this one to share as a double bond? Oxygen is a is reasonable choice, right? You, you, by sharing this, you form double bond with two pairs of lone pairs. So four more charges gone, four more charges gone. So I think that everyone is no four more charges. So that's, that's the case. So, Carbon with double bond, oxygen with this, and chlorine, chlorine. So this is a your <laughs> resonance structure number one. What about my other choices? Number two, how about, let me use a blue color, okay? Can I share this? In principle, yes. And by sharing this, chlorine doesn't mind because they still have about eight electrons, whether it be shared or whether lone pairs. But the price there is a you will see the price that they're paying it. So let's let's go back. So now I'm, I'm telling you chlorine, double bond, carbon, and there's a, this electron, oxygen. This side is still remains the same, so there's a negative charge. Chlorine. Okay. Do you see that? Right? The so negative charge, one of them should have a positive charge, right? Where? This one. 
you look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six. You should have seven, you have six. So that's a plus four. So this is the one that have a, I guess everyone satisfied the octet rule, but you develop localized charge distribution. That's a former charges, and so that will be not so, not so, sick, not so good. And the last one is oxygen. I, I, I'm going to just write this way. I hope you start to get used to it because uh, I'm just focusing on what's important here. Right? By writing so means there are three lone pairs. By writing so, there are three lone pairs. And this one is must have a two lone pairs, just like the other one. You want to make sure that you want to show at least this one. So what I'm saying is, from this scenario, lone pairs can be shared as a double bond this way, that way, the other way. So those are the three choices of the resonance structures that you can have. And then they go back and forth, back and forth. This is the three resonance structures. And uh, the winner is, this is the best resonance structure. This is uh, sort of the worst, equally worse. Okay. And I mean, this is a little bit more going deeper into the <laughs> subject. Although most people just write uh, phosphorus and gas this way, you can see that this chlorine is a little bit more positive than they need, than usually do because of the other contribution. Let's say this contribution is only like a 5%, 5% to the overall resonance structures. So this among this charge distribution, this one is you know, a little bit positive, and this one is a little bit negative. Okay? So that's one. And there's somebody doing a computational chemistry and that actually they can exactly map out the charge distribution of what are the positive charges. This is a little bit negative. This is how much is a positive. Uh, depending on the, the electronegativity, they can calculate those. Okay.